I want to show you three common floors in an old house. And I have three of them right here in front of me, just so happens. Now this floor here, this is a corner sawn pine. It's actually a very hard pine, and it is a floor you would consider refinishing. It's a, a kind of a higher end floor. These are very nice floors. But don't get the corner saw and pine confused with the, the regular pine. So you gotta watch for this grain pattern. It's real tight. Here's another good, good more here to look at. You can see the real tight pattern in the grains. So watch for these corner saw and pine floors. They're not regular pine and they're very nice when refinished. Okay, here is a regular pine floor. It is a lot softer. Um, you can see the grains in it. The soft wood. There's many pieces of soft wood. There's not very many uh, hardwood pine going through the through the soft woods. And it's it's cut in a different way. And it's soft pine. It's an okay floor, but really not meant to be refinished. But can be refinished if you want to. So, you can see here's a good... You can see the, the growth rings. Here, it's, it's not cut where the hard growth rings are showing. It's, that's why they call it soft. So most of the time these get painted or covered over. And then here is a more modern oak floor. Now this is oak, you can tell by the grains. And these are, this is definitely sandable and refinishable. And uh, it's hard to damage this floor with the sander, but with the saw pine and with the corner saw pine, much less so. But this is oak. But in your much older, older buildings, you'll have either corner saw pine or saw pine. So with the saw pine, you got to be careful sanding it. Because it is soft, and you can easily uh, carve this floor up. And you gotta you know, be reasonably careful with the corner saw pine. Because it, it is still a soft wood, but the way it's cut is what makes it normal. Now this is an, an older oak floor. You can see it's real, real skinny. And I believe it is a tongue and groove uh, kind of oak. Because uh, I don't see any uh, nails in it uh, to secure it on. Now you will see oak floors look exactly like this, except they were face nailed. So, they nailed through the face. Now, those floors, you can kind of reproduce them with a planer. You just plane down some uh, oak and cut the sides. So, but this is actually a tongue and groove older oak floor. Definitely sandable. Now here we have, it almost looks like a corner saw pine floor, but it's not. I mean, if you looked at this one piece here, You'd probably say that's corner saw pine. But if you look over here, of course you find a regular cut board. Now, this floor is in pretty good shape. Now, you might actually get away with refinishing this floor. Because it is, uh, it, it's a very good uh, pine floor. There's no major problems or some gaps in it, but definitely a floor worth saving.
even though it is soft pine. And let's take a look at, now this is a newer oak floor, and you can tell mainly my, the oak is in smaller strips, it's three quarters of an inch thick. You can sand away on this, and uh, you still be alright. Now, this is not historic in any manner. It's probably, you know, a relatively newer floor. So, there's probably soft pine underneath this. But, this is a newer oak. You can tell by the little pieces. You buy it in little pieces and you nail it all down. 